In this episode of our Kruger adventure, we leave the luxury tented camp of Pafuri and start heading southwards. Our plan is to camp at the following sites, Shingwezi, followed by Lataba, and then end up at Satara. Along the way, we're gonna drop into a number of other camps and hopefully see some really cool animal sightings. Okay, so we're just um, literally sneaking up on a giant elephant and he's drinking out of that big concrete hole and he's huge. Oh my gosh. Okay, he knows we're here. He's just suddenly stopped. Now it always pays to. Ooh. Oh my gosh. He's, he's not very happy. And, uh, it always pays to have a bit of a look around because there could be others around and we, you could be stuck in their path. He seems to be by himself. So tricky to get footage of the animals. Gosh, do you want to drive a little bit forward? It's a bit, bit, just bit the most tricky. Thing, eh? It's so special. Just seeing elephants in the wild. You come around a corner and bang, there's a freaking elephant. Oh, he's throwing mud on himself. What's happening? Mm, I'm driving very carefully because it's such thick scrub and there were so many elephants around just before, about nine or ten big ones and there's a lot of branches, a lot of elephant poo and I'm just a little bit nervous because you literally can't see them until they are next to you Yeah. and um, because if I suddenly have to stop or reverse, I need to be ready. down the main road towards Shinwezi and uh, come across this old fella over here. He's having a little feast. He's not particularly bothered by us at all, which is pretty cool. How cool is that, eh? Hey? It's just the coolest thing. That guy is huge. He's massive. He's, he's keeping an eye out. Look at that. That kudu is enormous. I think it's a kudu. I'm not sure. Alright, check that out. It's a massive herd of elephants coming down to the Shingwezi River. Okay, so we're just pulling into the Shingwezi camp. So we've been out on the road, I don't know, probably about five, six hours, taking us to get here. It's only about 100K, but we've had a million stops, seen heaps of animals. So here's the camp. We just gotta find out where to go. All right, here's the pool at Shingwezi. That's not too terrible, hey? What do you reckon, Mrs. Fritz? Yes, You're please. You're a bit warm. Yes, I'm dying. All right, yeah. well, we've just set up camp. Camp's over there somewhere, we'll show you that later. Here's the pool. There's one other punter here, but uh, we're just going to go for a swim.
Yep, got some coffee on the go. Oh. Got some guava, grape and yogurt. And we're going to cook up some uh, omelettes in a little while. It's uh, quarter past seven. The majority of folk have already left on the morning drive. But we're having a, a cruisy start to the day. Yeah. yeah. How's this, hey? So good. Look at that. Lots of animal noises in the middle of the night. Lions, hyenas. Um, we had a bit of baboon action raiding one of the bins this morning. But uh, this is what the campsite looks like. There's our truck. We've already packed it up. Just uh, stop us from having to do it in the middle of uh, the hot sun. Um, and it's sort of, I guess, like a typical kind of caravan park kind of feel, but um, it's all pretty chilled. Lots of space around us. Um, there's some taps over everywhere, and uh, there's a ablution block over there. It's actually a little kitchen over here with hot and cold running water and also boiling, boiling water. Boiling water on tap. <clears throat> boiling water on tap, so it's pretty cool. So, uh, yeah, here's just a little camping setup, and uh, yeah, we're about to make some, uh, about to make some uh, eggs. Uh, for breakfast, got our little setup back here, um, fridge, gonna do a little cook up here, and uh, yeah, we'll pack up eventually, and uh, we'll go and uh, hopefully find a few more animals. But uh, yeah, Shingwetsi camp, pretty cool. Into Fritzy's rustic cooking in the Kruger <laughs> National Park. <laughs> God, put some bacon in. Oh, that. beautiful. Amazing. We finally <laughs> found. A bloody awesome spot. It's some dam. It's this long, so dry, cool. boring road. It's called uh, Grootflay Dam. <laughs> Grootflay Dam. Grootflay. And uh, it's it's pretty amazing. Yeah, there are a couple of cars parked up here, but other than that, that's it. And I will turn this around. So in the distance, which we will zoom in with our big camera, there's heaps of elephants under that tree. Beautiful water. Those buffalo are heading off in the distance. Gorgeous big nests. There's this big fellow over here. More nests, more elephants, and I think big storks in the distance. And then there's, there's another one crossing. So these are those precious moments where you can see quite a few different animals in one place. What a what a spot for a coffee break, huh? Yeah, oh, the buffalo, look at him. Look what he's doing. Oh, no, he's having a good mud bath. Look at that. Yeah, he's rubbing his chin in the mud. called it that because we are literally surrounded by elephants. There's a big guy over here, one behind the tree, a third one there, and we've just passed another eight. Oh my goodness, there's one coming up behind us. Oh, there he comes. Oh my gosh. Oh, you have to get ready. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go on. <gasps> Oh no, this guy's so close here, please let's sneak past this one already. Go, go, go. Oh my gosh. Oh, he's going the other way. Okay, that's right. That's weird. They go so big as well. They are just enormous. Can you see the other one? There's four. 
Yes, how close are they to me? Oh my god, you better get ready. Mm. No, is he relaxed? Yeah, oh right. my god. Alright, here's the situation. We're currently surrounded by elephants. <gasps> There's, There's, one one there. There. There's one over there in the bush. There's a mess. Oh, this this guy's this guy's really watching us. You better get that finger on the uh, ignition if we need to get out of here quickly. Lizzie's a bit nervous. Oh my gosh, it's okay, he's moving. You can see how they just vanish. These two are going to meet each other. What's the other one doing? Look how close he is! How many meters would you say? I don't know. Five, ten. Okay, we're just uh, driving down to the Lataba River, not far from the Lataba campsite where we're camping tonight. And uh, there's a little turn off here, beautiful big tree, kind of tree you'd hope to find a leopard in, but probably not. Uh, there's the Lataba River there in front of us. I thought those were elephants. Yeah, they're not elephants, they're just little rocks. Rocks. Rock yeah. elephants. Rock elephants. Yeah. Give it a bit of thong slap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, wow, onwards. Uh, so this is our second night camping in Kruger and uh, First thing you got to do is pitch up to reception, pay your 960 rand, and make sure you've got a booking for two people, and uh, then go find a campsite. So hopefully it's like last night, nice and quiet and chilled. We had a crack and sleep, so hopefully we'll have another one tonight. Anyway, let's go find reception. I don't know. Reception over there. Easy. Nice trees. Lots of nice trees. Lots of shade. All right, we'll go check in. Good morning from uh, Lataba. So we had another peaceful night's rest here. And as you can see, there's the truck in the background. We're already packed up. This is uh, Fritz is just uh, tidying things up before we head off. But uh, just wanted to show you around this campsite. <coughs> They're pretty cool little campsites. So usually most of the campsites have got these little pits here. A bit like a fire ring and like a little bright pit and heavy duty bins here to prevent the uh, monkeys from getting into the the bins and uh, yeah, there's a usually a cool little thatched kitchen and um, with hot and cold running water and some boiling water and just a little ablution block so uh, yeah pretty typical of the campsite so we've experienced so far um, there's a few people have already cleared out this morning um, and uh, yeah, this this was us. So yeah, Lataba, pretty cool. Had a pretty good sleep. Um, 
nice restful night and uh, it's pretty early this morning it's only seven o'clock a lot of people have already left the eager beavers to go see the animals but uh, we're not quite organized yet but uh, seven o'clock's not bad yesterday we left about nine so we'll uh, we'll catch some breakfast at one of the other campsites and hopefully we'll see some cool animals on the way okay so he is the mortal enemy of the campers these little fellas over here these little monkeys they look very cute but they get into people's cars they just create a whole lot of mischief you can't leave anything unattended alone yeah yeah you guys you guys are the cheeky ones hey we saw a couple of people uh, a couple of these trying to get into someone's car and they just wreak havoc they get into all your stuff they're very very cheeky they're very cute anyway keep your stuff closed guys okay we've just parked up at the reception at Lataba and uh it's in a great sign <coughs> beware of the falling sausage fruit <laughs> what do you reckon mrs fruit hilarious that's I pretty funny it. all right let's go check out the reception area in the restaurant okay that's not a bad view from the restaurant hey so this is the view from the restaurant at Lataba here's the Lataba river morning light Pretty good, hey? This is gorgeous here. Yeah. I'm a bit sad we missed out on dinner here. <clears throat> oh. It's a really good looking place. Yeah, it is nice. But I didn't like the campsite as much. Honestly. What was wrong with the campsite? Oh, it's just really sandy. My shoes are full of thorns. That's Lots why you have monkeys. shoes. It took us ages to find a spot. Mm. But anyway. Anyway. It's okay. We're off. much um, space on either side. <laughs> Woo. Just crossing the Olifants River. Look at this. Isn't that gorgeous? I better not look too much to the side. No, you can just concentrate on Imagine the car. Imagine if we plonked in here. How embarrassing would that be? Yeah, that'd be an awkward call. <laughs> right. Baby giraffe. <gasps> Oh yeah. What a little angel he is. There he is. Just popped up his head. Oh my gosh, he's adorable. You don't often see little ones. I'm going to sneak up on them as best I can in this noisy truck. Yeah, sounds good. Look at the beautiful colouring on this. Oh, uh, gorgeous. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Bird on her side. Okay, so we've been driving a couple of hours this morning. Uh, it's only 9.30, but we left uh, Lataba this morning and we're heading towards Olifant's camp. And uh, we're gonna have some brunch there because it's only 9.30, we've been on the road for a little while and we're gonna check out the restaurant, apparently there's good news. So we haven't seen a hell of a lot this morning, but it's okay, we've had a lovely drive. And uh, we just stopped for a coffee and a, a coffee biscuit. And a wee. And uh, 
and uh, yeah, so we'll, we'll check out Olifant's camp as well, have some breakfast there, and then we'll continue on to our next camp, which is Satara. Yeah. So hopefully we'll see some cool animals along the way, but uh, yeah, I mean some some drives you don't see much, some drives you see heaps, so it's just the way it is. Yeah. Can't order the animals. Anyway. We tried to. We tried to order the animals. We tried to wish. We that around every leave quarter. with the plan that yeah. today we will see this, we will see that, yeah. we try to project <laughs> what we want, but it just doesn't work just that doesn't way. It doesn't, doesn't work out that yeah. way. Anyway, the, we're still having a good time. The scenery here is stunning because on our left is the Olifants River. It's a gorgeous big valley and there's a lot of, um, I think, granite or basalt rock water and things like that. So. Uh, We'll show you the views from the top where the restaurant is when we get there. Yeah. Breakfast looks okay. Yeah, nice. What do you reckon, eh? Two little potato washies. Nice. And some eggs. And not the world's worst food. We're at Olifant and Mrs. Fritz is having a ball. What you got there? Ostrich egg. How cool is that? That's very cool. And bags, jewellery. Nice yeah, toys for the kids. Felt schooner. Kruger Park edition. Kruger edition. The all important rusks. That's a staple. Pretty cool. And this is our favourite. Yeah, this delicious. dry horse. Mm. Love that. Okay, so we're uh, entering our camp for the night. This is called Satara. Uh, we're in the lower half of the Kruger now. Hey, eh? we've crossed. Yeah. Into the southern section. Absolutely, but um, the lower half, more wild, more cats. So hopefully some lions, some leopards in the next couple of days. We're going to see if we can find a little campsite. Maybe go for a swim. Yeah, it's only one third. Yeah, we've been on the road since seven though. Yeah, early start today. It's early quite start. warm. So maybe a swim, and then maybe a little afternoon game drive, and then we'll probably hit the restaurant tonight. See what it's like. Well, things don't always go to plan, do they? As we pulled into our campsite, we heard a really irritating grating noise coming from the front of the car. I then spent the next hour underneath the car in 35 degree heat, searching for the source of the noise and eventually found a small stone wedged between the backing plate of the brake and the disc. That was fun, hey? Nothing like uh, Hot, isn't it, hey? pulling wheels off, searching Trust for little stones. Hands, yeah, searching brilliant. for little stones when it's 30 degrees. Nice. What's happening? Hmm? What's happening? Oh god. Well it was load shedding and but the generator was going strong until it stopped. And now we're just sitting here in the dark waiting to see what's gonna happen when our dinner's coming. Got a glass of shardy on the go though. Thank god. Good thing we've got our torch. Hmm. Yeah, oh, this is so crazy, hey? This is South Africa. Poor locals, I feel so sorry for them. They have to put up with this crap all the time. Anyway. Yeah. 